everyone welcome to another video log so today i came to artica the company i work for uh, one day a week uh, we do interactive installation stuff and workshops and robotics and physical computing things all sorts of fun things uh, but i've been trying to focus more on artistic stuff again and making music again so i only work here one day a week and today was friday which is the day i come here so I spent the uh, last part, large part of the day talking with the guys from Artica uh, about different projects and stuff that doesn't really matter much to this vlog. And we also had some pizza, some uh, Oreo chocolate mousse, which is important. And I got some time to work on my uh, project, the collaborative Aiku Dream thing. I tried out different routers that we have here and I managed to find on the internet that the ASUS RU, I think it's 66 CU that I'm using or that I have been trying to use actually is supported by uh, DDWRT. Uh, well, and if you guys don't know anything about networks, you have no clue what the hell I'm talking about. So I will try to explain that because that's what you do on a video log. You explain things that most people wouldn't understand so uh, router is a thing that distributes network usually uh, Wi-Fi so other computers and devices can connect to it and usually comes with its own firmware from the builder but there are some movements online of people who like uh, programming kernels and Linux and uh, hacking modems to um, to have alternatives uh, for those firmwares. There are two uh, big known names. One of them is OpenWRT, which is mostly... I was actually reading the description and the differences between both of them today. So OpenWRT is more focused from uh, guys who like messing with Linux and want a stable Linux build to be running on the router so they can use latest services from Linux builds. And uh, if you have a, a router with very low memory, stuff like that, it doesn't really work very well. You might not have that many features because some chips of some routers only work on older versions, distributions of Linux, stuff like that. So OpenWRT is more for latest devices that have a lot of memory and you want the full Linux version working. And then you have DDWRT, which is more focused on uh, old um, devices, supporting all kinds of devices, and a more stable build, and uh, they sometimes cut some features to be able to fit the, the routers, which is good. Um, and then they have wikis where they list the supported routers but those lists are outdated so i thought that the asus ru66 cu or whatever it is that i'm not sure of the name anymore but that i was using uh, was not supported but it turns out that it is you just have to get the latest beta release and it's listed there well at least uh ddwrt supports it open wrt i don't think it does but so as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by a phone call. You have OpenWRT and DDWRT. OpenWRT probably doesn't work on the ASUS. I haven't checked it yet. It probably doesn't. Anyways, what I discovered today is that I can flash DDWRT onto the ASUS. So I did that today, which is good. Uh, I finally have a hotspot capability that you can try to run some sort of captive portal onto. I managed to get DNS mask working on it. So if you, if you just type Aiku on uh, a browser, it automatically forwards you to the address of my server, which is good. You don't have to type 192.168.1. whatever, which is the IP of my server. So you can have a shorthand name, which is very useful because people on smartphones will not have the patience to type a lot of numbers and dots and whatever. So shorter names works better. The problem I still have now is 
with HTTP and HTTPS. HTTPS, uh, the S stands for secure, and it was created for uh, browsers to be able to validate if a certain domain is the domain that it claims to be, which seems very useful. And by default, on most smartphones, when you type something, you no longer type HTTP or HTTPS, you just type the domain. And by default, the browser, or at least Safari on iPhone, uh, puts HTTPS on it because it uh, prioritizes secure connections over unsecure connections. Which is good overall, but it's a bit bad for me because I want people to be able to go to my server. And my server currently is not running HTTPS because to get HTTPS running on the server, you need a certificate. So there are uh, more modern ways to get a certificate. Um, but I think I will always get a warning because I'm running on a local network without internet access. So there will not be able to verify uh, if my certificate is valid or not. But I'm going to try it anyways and see if I manage to get it working. I remember we did a project a couple of years ago for interactive cinemas for audience entertainment in, uh, in the US where we tried to get HTTPS working on the local LAN and we had sort of different issues with it but in the end we ran captive portal so it wasn't an issue uh, people would just get thrown into the captive portal and not have to type anything on the browser so I don't know, I, hunt, I wasn't able to do the full captive portal yet on the router. There are a few different hotspot options there, but none seem to do anything different. I'm not sure if the router doesn't support them or if there's something misconfigured. I don't know, I have to test it a bit better. There's something called no cat splash, which throws you to a splash page, which might be what I want. I'm not sure anymore, I don't remember very well. There's also HTTP redirect, which tries to redirect an address to your own address, which also might be what I want. I'm not sure if it works with the HTTPS or not. So I have to test these things. So I'm taking the router back with me and uh, I'm gonna test them. Anyways, I got interrupted by Christina uh, just a while ago while I was heading to the Metro and apparently she wants me to meet with her. Uh, before going to the metro, so I'm making my way back to meet her. And that's my day so far. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care.